Requite. 1. To give or feel in return. 2. To retaliate or avenge. 3. To make an appropriate payment for. While he cared for her deeply as a friend, the man could not requite the woman's passionate love. Furtive. Secretive. Stealthy. The shy boy took furtive glances at the girl he liked, careful not to let anyone catch him looking. Carrion. Dead, rotting, vile, especially flesh. The vultures circle the roadkill, eager to get at the carrion once the cars were gone. Blight. To destroy or ruin. The crops were blighted by the insect infestation. Arid. 1. Extremely dry, parched. 2. Uninteresting, dull, lacking feeling. Cactuses thrive in arid environments because they store water. Terrestrial. Related to Earth. Though he studied the stars for a living, the astronomer's real passion was much more terrestrial. He loved to collect and polish rocks. Opulence. Wealth, luxury, or abundance. The king lives in a world of almost unimaginable opulence, with gold plates and a diamond-encrusted toothbrush. Discordant. Not in agreement or harmony. The leader struggled to reconcile the discordant opinions of the group members. Some wanted to keep hiking, others to make camp, while still others thought they should split up. Caustic. Harsh, sarcastic, critical. The man made snide and caustic comments all throughout his wife's funeral because he was still angry about her cheating. Covenant. An official or formal agreement between two parties agreeing to do or refrain from doing something. The two leaders signed a covenant declaring they would no longer spy on each other. Soporific. 1. Causing sleep. 2. Related to sleep or sleepiness. The mathematics professor's lectures have a soporific effect on even the most energetic students, lulling them to sleep at their desks. Recant. To retract or disavow a statement, especially formally. The witness recanted his earlier testimony, admitting that he had been lying to stay out of jail. Mollify. To soothe or appease, pacify, mitigate. The mobster's desire for revenge was slightly mollified by the man's emotional apologies and the cash he brought. Covetous. Greedy. Tired of his own boring action figures, the little boy was covetous of his friend's new toy, which talked and lit up and shot missiles. Ebullience. Intense, overflowing emotion or enthusiasm. The boy couldn't contain his ebullience once he won the contest. He shouted and laughed and swung his mom around in a big hug. Espouse. To adopt or embrace a cause or belief. In order to gain the favor of the party leaders, the young politician espoused the party ideology word for word. Illusion. A passing or indirect reference or mention. She made an allusion to Hamlet in her speech by saying to be or not to be. Restive. 1. Restless, uneasy. 2. Stubborn, unmanageable. Tense to hear the results of the trial, the woman was restive, pacing the hallways and chattering nervously. Surmise. To infer or conclude without strong evidence. I was able to surmise that they were sleeping together from their guilty looks. Extempore. Without planning or preparation, on the spur of the moment. Wanting to return to his roots in improv, the comic gave an extempore monologue, commenting on things right as they were entering his mind. Desiccate. To dry out completely, to dehydrate. The wood was completely desiccated from being out in the desert sun. Daunt. To make afraid, to intimidate. Even though they were experienced climbers, they were daunted by the sheer face of the ice cliff, which extended up into the clouds. Moot. 1. Debatable, arguable, not settled. 2. Of little or no practical importance, theoretical. Whether or not the dam could have withstood if the rain hadn't been so strong is a moot point, since it has already burst. Debase. To corrupt, make impure, or lower the value of. The charity was debased by the charges that it had stolen funds intended for poorer families.
Antediluvian. Ancient, very old, old fashioned. The gas station is antediluvian. It's been there forever, since before my grandparents moved here. Engender. To cause, foster, create. The star player's outrageous salary engendered jealousy among her teammates. Ebb. To lower or retreat, a body of water, as on a tide. The water is not so high in the afternoon when it ebbs. Recidivism. Relapse into bad or criminal habits. Among convicts who receive counseling while incarcerated, recidivism rates are almost half of what they are for normal parolees. Felicity. Happiness. Bliss. Now that she was married to the man of her dreams, her home life was filled with felicity. She sang spontaneously in the mornings when she woke. Ardor. Passion. The man's ardor led him to spell out his lover's name in twelve-foot-high snow letters. Juggernaut. A powerful, unstoppable force or entity. The football team, undefeated for the past three seasons, is quite a juggernaut. Loquacious. Excessively talkative or garrulous. He pays a fortune for his cell phone plan because he is so loquacious. Platitude. A trite saying, a cliché. Since he had been a high school football coach, he used platitudes like one game at a time, and there's no I in team. Aggrieve. To cause to suffer, to disturb or distress. The aggrieved widow demanded compensation from the company since her husband had died at work. Chicanery. Deception through cunning or cleverness. The con man's chicanery is not to be underestimated. He even managed to convince the jailer to loan him the keys to his cell. Prepossessing. Impressive. Pleasing. Microsoft's command of the personal software market is prepossessing, enough to scare off even the most well-qualified competitors. Bovine. Of or related to a cow or ox. My brother kept calling me bovine because he said I was slow and stupid. Trudge. To walk heavily, with great effort or weariness. We trudge through the snow to school, breaking through the thin layer of ice with our boots. Reproof. A reproach or reprimand. For failing to put his name on the test, the student got a mild reproof from the teacher. Itinerant. Wandering, moving from place to place. Being the spouse of a career military officer means getting used to an itinerant lifestyle, moving to a new home nearly every year. Contrition. The state of feeling remorseful or regretful. Paying for the boy's college tuition was an act of contrition by his father, who felt bad for having abandoned the boy. Prurient. Related to or pertaining to lust or sexual interest. The church group screened movies for any prurient content before allowing their children to watch them. Rest. 1. To gain through effort or toil. 2. To wrestle or take away by force. Once she had wrested the remote control out of his hand, she turned the baseball game off. Pathos. The quality of being able to create sympathy or emotion. For movies that portray great tragedy, like Schindler's List, the important thing is to create pathos without being overly sentimental. Churlish. Rude. The boy's churlish actions, like pouring his cereal on the floor, led his parents to send him to bed without dinner. Sallow. Sickly. In the yellow fluorescent light, his skin looked sallow, which made his mother ask if he was feeling okay. Pervade. To spread throughout, to permeate. The noxious fumes from the ruptured gas tank pervaded the car, so he had to roll down all the windows to breathe. Decorous. Polite, well-mannered, proper. The tea parties were always decorous affairs, except for the time the host's teenage son went around half-dressed, talking with his mouth full. Polemical. Related to a controversial or argumentative viewpoint. Evolution is a polemical subject, one that cannot be broached without creating an argument. Facetious. Playful, humorous, not serious. 
Don't be insulted. When he called you fat, he was just being facetious. Extemporaneous. Without planning or notes. Abandoning his script on a whim, the politician gave an emotional extemporaneous speech. Live. Flexible. Graceful. The woman's body was lithe from so many hours of yoga. She had no trouble stretching up to unlock the window. Right. A ceremonial or official act or ritual. Before being admitted to the secret society, you have to go through a series of initiation rites. Fritter. To waste or squander. My mother always warned me against frittering away my money, so I kept a close eye on my finances. Imputation. A negative suggestion or claim about a person. The celebrity resented the article's imputation that just because he cared about his looks, he was shallow and stupid. Verbiage. Wordiness. The contract's verbiage made it hard to understand exactly what it was trying to state. Prodigal. Wasteful. MC Hammer was so prodigal with the money he earned, he quickly found himself declaring bankruptcy. Ephemeral. Lasting or surviving for a brief duration. Fleeting. Pessimists like to contrast the ephemeral nature of human happiness with the stubborn persistence of human misery. Pensive. Characterized by thoughtfulness or reflection. The Zen garden behind the museum always puts me in a pensive mood, so I like to go there alone to think. Vaunted. Praised or admired. The team's vaunted defense collapsed, surrendering almost 60 points by halftime. Aplomb. Confidence, self-assuredness, poise. Since she had taken many dance classes, the old woman spun and turned on the dance floor with aplomb. Mall. To think over, ponder. Forced to retire at 50, the man mulled over his options. He could travel like he had always hoped to, or he could start his own company. Endemic. Common to, widespread, or native to a particular place. Crystal meth laboratories have become endemic to rural areas, where the lack of law enforcement makes it easy to produce the drug. Gainsay. To speak against, deny, or contradict. My boss hates to be gainsaid, so her advisors have to go along with whatever ideas she has and then take the blame for them later if they go wrong. Litigious. Related to litigation. We live in a litigious society where even waking up in the morning the wrong way could get you sued by someone. Credulity. A trusting disposition. The tendency to believe others. Gullibility. Even though she had lied to him so many times in the past, he accepted her claims with credulity. Derision. Ridicule or mockery. The girl faced derision from the gifted kids over her 1470 SAT score since they'd all gotten perfect 1500s. Plasticity. 1. The quality of being easily molded, shaped, or changed. 2. Artificial. The material's plasticity is what makes it so great for artists who can easily mold it into any shape or design. Fortuitous. Lucky, fortunate. It was quite fortuitous that our boat sank just as the luxury cruise liner was passing by because we got to be saved in style. Precursory. Preliminary. Proceeding. Introductory. The doctor gave a precursory look at my chart, then promised a more thorough review after the tests were done. Bore. A rude, ill-mannered person. My uncle gets drunk and acts like a real bore whenever there's a family party. Indiscriminate. Without discrimination, making no distinctions, lacking in judgment. The graffiti artist is indiscriminate, striking big businesses and small, rich people's mansions and poor people's apartment buildings. Quaff. To drink quickly and with enjoyment. He quaffed his beer in a single gulp, slapping his money down on the table and left with a smile. Arduous. Difficult, exhausting, requiring great effort. The climb to the top of the mountain was arduous, but worth it once we saw the view. Rebuff. To reject or refuse, to block. 
The waitress rebuffed the man's attempts to get her to go out with him. Relegate. 1. To assign to a less important or less respected position. 2. To classify. Even though she had been the leader, the dancer was relegated to the back of the formation when she came back from her injury. Callow. Juvenile. Immature. The man's callow remarks about his boss's wife caused him to be fired. Gestalt. A unified whole that is more than the sum of its parts. I miss most of the details, but the overall gestalt of the speech was that Americans are too fat. A butt. To border or adjoin, to touch on one side. The property abutted that of the county mental institution, which made it hard to sell. Unlettered. Uneducated, not well-read or illiterate. Though he was unlettered, having dropped out of school at age nine, he became one of the century's most successful authors. Apropos. 1. Relevant. Pertinent. 2. In reference to. Apropos of your comments about the pilot, I would point out that the movie's central conflict wasn't very engaging. Effervescence. 1. Bubbles or foam, as in a drink. 2. To behave in an energetic, lively manner. The girl's effervescence made her a natural cheerleader. Countenance. Facial expression or overall appearance. The boy's sour countenance was the only clue that he was upset about dropping his ice cream cone. Ostensible. In name only, not real or true. The manager is the office's ostensible leader, but everyone knows that it's his secretary who is making all the decisions. Cogent. Convincing, persuasive. The key to winning the speech contest is having a presentation that is cogent so that the judges will believe your argument. Iconoclast. A person who challenges traditional ideas. Freud was an iconoclast in that he challenged the repressive sexual traditions of the time. Inquest. An investigation. An official inquest was ordered into the leak allegations. Extortion. The act of appropriating money through force, threats, or intimidation. The mobster was convicted of extortion for forcing business owners to pay not to have their stores vandalized. Coterie. A small, exclusive group. The woman was part of a coterie of single moms who shared babysitting responsibilities. Monastic. Of, related to, or characteristic of a monk. Austere, simple, disciplined. His poverty gave him a monastic lifestyle. He had a clean, bare apartment and no TV because he couldn't afford one. Lowly. 1. Low in status or position. 2. Humble. Don't ask me what play to call. I'm just a lowly ball boy. Bastion. 1. An enduring example of a safeguard of a principle or idea. 2. A fortified position. Canada has long been a bastion of civil rights, even from the days when American slaves used to flee there for freedom. Guttural. Produced in the throat, harsh-sounding. The football players made guttural noises as they clashed on the field. Bilk. To swindle or cheat, defraud. The company was accused of bilking the government out of billions by overcharging for its services. Incursion. 1. The act of penetrating a boundary. 2. A raid. The alarm was sounded because there was an enemy incursion into the base. Bamboozle. 1. To deceive or cheat. 2. To confuse or perplex. The used car salesman bamboozled us into buying a car that barely worked. Lactic. Of or pertaining to milk. I became vegan because I was allergic to lactic acid, so I couldn't eat cheese anyway. Anomalous. Differing from the standard or norm. Irregular. The anomalous results forced the scientists to examine her experiment carefully to make sure that nothing had been disturbed. Stride. To walk or move in long steps.
The horses stride across the field in an easy gallop, closing the distance quickly. Vapid. Dull, empty, uninteresting. Cocktail conversations with models are always vapid. You'd be better off talking to the hors d'oeuvres. Undermine. To weaken or erode the foundations of. Support for the ballot proposal was undermined by a string of newspaper editorials which attacked the proposal. Genteel. Refined, proper, well-mannered. He is a genteel old man, always dressed in a seersucker suit and studiously polite with strangers. Invective. Abusive language. The woman who had been egged screamed invectives at the fleeing teenagers. Truism. A statement that is self-evident, a platitude. It is a truism that you have to spend money to make money. Maelstrom. 1. A turbulent, chaotic situation. 2. A powerful whirlpool. It is a maelstrom of activity in the pits at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, where all the brokers are screaming and gesturing. Ogle. To stare at in a lewd or flirtatious manner. The man has a bad habit of ogling whatever woman walks by, even when his wife is sitting across the table from him. Obverse. The opposite, the flip side. To be a good lawyer, you must study the obverse of your argument so that you know the points your opponent will raise. Amorphous. Shapeless, lacking definite form. The man went to the psychiatrist for the amorphous dread that he was suffering from. Ostentatious. Showy, pretentious. The homecoming queen wore her ostentatious gold dress and crown to school to show off her victory. Virulent. 1. Very harmful. 2. Aggressive. A particularly virulent strain of the flu has forced hundreds of employees to call in sick. Tenuous. Flimsy. Weak. Not firm. If you only have a tenuous grasp on the information from the book, you can't hope to pass the test. Indolent. Lazy. Listless. Without energy. Summer used to be the indolent time for kids, but now they all have sports and tutors to run off to. Iniquity. Injustice. Inequality. The iniquity between the homeless people on the street and the stockbrokers walking past them isn't something that most people want to think about. Veracity. Truthfulness. Accuracy. Factuality. The veracity of the source's statement must be verified before the article will be printed. Vindicate. 1. To prove right, justify. 2. To free from accusation, blame, or doubt. The broker was vindicated when the stock's value skyrocketed, just as he had predicted. Annul. To revoke or cancel. The couple had their marriage annulled so that they could get married again with a fancier ceremony now that they could afford it. Belabor. To argue or discuss in excessive detail. Make tedious. I don't want to belabor the point, but I have to tell you again not to get close to the bears because they're very aggressive. Wanton. 1. Disregarding conventions or rules. 2. Malicious. Cruel. 3. Lacking restraint. Indulgent. It would be a wanton disregard for the rules of the road to start driving through red lights whenever you felt like it. Thwart. To frustrate or prevent something from happening. His efforts to send his child to a different school were thwarted by school officials who refused to agree. Enervate. To weaken. The once strong woman was greatly enervated by her long illness. Claptrap. Meaningless or insipid talk or writing. I don't read tabloids because it's all just a bunch of useless claptrap. Castigate. To sharply criticize or rebuke. The homeowner castigated the worker furiously for spilling paint on the floor. Equestrian. Of or related to horses. We went to the equestrian park to see the horse races. Perdition. Damnation. 
Many religious believers earnestly believe that if they don't behave, their souls will end up in perdition after they die. Allegro At a fast tempo The orchestra took the piece at an allegro, and the new violinist struggled to keep up. Penchant An inclination or tendency My dog has a penchant for getting into the trash, so I have to put him in the cage when I leave the house. Meat to distribute or give out. Rationing the remaining food, the leader meted out a few scraps to each of his troops. Sycophant. Someone who flatters superiors in order to gain favor or improve their status. Julia is such a sycophant, she even does her boss's laundry. Transcend. 1. To be superior to. 2. To overcome or rise above. The musician was able to transcend his limitations and become a great artist. Ribald Characterized by risque sexual humor. Shakespeare's comedies contain lots of ribald humor. Iridescent 1. Shining, shimmering. 2. Showing a range of colors, like a rainbow. The oil left an iridescent layer on the driveway. Pundit, an authoritative or supposedly authoritative commentator or critic. Most political talk shows feature pundits yelling at one another. Melodramatic, exaggerated or excessive emotion or drama. TV shows often portray courts as melodramatic places, but trials are usually boring in real life. Gradation. A change involving several degrees or stages. In real life, there's a lot of gradation between right and wrong. Travail. 1. Toil, hard work. 2. Sorrow, anguish. Climbing the ice cliff was quite a travail. Doctrinaire. Adhering to tradition or doctrine. It was a doctrinaire answer, straight out of the training manual. Slake. To satisfy or quench, as of thirst or appetite. The dog slaked his thirst at the fountain. Lurch. To move in a halting or unsteady manner. The car lurched forward as the student driver forced it into drive. Macabre. Related to death. My sister has a macabre interest in corpses. Sully. To dirty or soil, make impure. Her reputation was sullied by the charges raised by the newspaper. Asceticism. The practice of self-denial as a way to achieve spiritual improvement. The monk's asceticism was legendary. He didn't even own a bed to sleep on. Perennial. Lasting through time or reoccurring. That team has made the playoffs for eight straight years. They're a perennial contender for the title. Didactic. Intended to teach or instruct. My dad is a teacher, so anything he tells us has a didactic angle to it. Obsequious. Showing servile deference, fawning. The employee took an obsequious interest in his boss's poetry. Liege, a feudal lord, a king. The knight swore an oath of allegiance to his liege. Benevolence, kindness, generosity. The students celebrated the benevolence of the businesswoman who bought their new books. Plaintive, mournful, sad. My dog gave me a plaintive look as I tied him up outside the restaurant. Windfall. A sudden, surprising piece of good fortune. The lottery jackpot provided quite a windfall for the woman. Vacillate. 1. To hesitate or waver. 2. To fluctuate. To switch between two positions. The cause of the accident was a broken traffic light that randomly vacillated between red and green. Petulant. Showing unreasonable irritation or impatience. Sulky, pouting. The boy gave me a petulant look, which made me want to spank him again. 
Prescient. Capable of predicting the future. It was a prescient decision to sell all the stock since the market crashed the next day. Cabal. A small secret group. The Cabal of Exiles was planning to overthrow the government. Amplitude. One. Abundance, fullness, largeness. Two. In physics, the strength of a wave. The amplitude of a sound wave can be measured using an oscilloscope. Seminal. Essential. Noteworthy. Original. Schoenberg's Opus 2 remains a seminal piece of experimental music, a landmark that all subsequent music must somehow refer to. Lampoon. To ridicule or satirize. The candidate's manner of speaking is often lampooned by late-night comedians. Accolade. An award or honor for an achievement. The accolades came as a surprise to the director because she did not expect anyone to appreciate her movie. Volley. A group of projectiles. A volley of arrows rained down on the troops huddled in the ditch. A prize. To inform. The Secret Service was apprised of the assassination threat. Countermand. To negate or cancel a previous command. The general countermanded the order, so the troops that had been ready to deploy were forced to wait. Maxim. A concise statement that expresses a basic truth or rule. An old country maxim advises us not to count our chickens before they're hatched. Conceit. 1. An elaborate metaphor. 2. An imaginary notion. The poem's main conceit is that sexual intercourse is no more harmful than a flea's bite. Herbaceous. Related to or resembling an herb. Newfound scientific support for herbaceous cures has caused many companies to start producing herbal remedies. Ubiquitous. Being or seeming to be everywhere at once. In Los Angeles, taquerias are ubiquitous. There's practically one on every block. Sanctimonious. Excessively pious. Prim. She's the preacher's wife, but she doesn't have that aggravated sanctimonious manner that some of them do. Toady. Someone who flatters someone else for their own advantage. A sycophant. The CEO's toady scurried downstairs to warm up his coffee. Harangue. A long, abusive speech. A tirade. The staff was forced to sit through their boss's harangue over the botched project. Leary. Wary or suspicious. I am leery of taking out another loan, since I have three already. Xenophobia. Fear or hatred of foreign things or people. The townspeople's xenophobia led them to destroy houses rather than allowing them to be purchased by outsiders. Jocular. Joking. Playful. Humorous. The jocular tone in the room contradicted the deadly seriousness of the issue being discussed. Seamy. Sordid. Disreputable. I prefer seamy bars, where it's dark and dirty and you're just as likely to see a fight than hear a pickup line. Opulent. 1. Rich, luxurious. 2. Abundant or plentiful. The opulent mansion made my mother jealous, since she lived in a simple one-room apartment. Pastiche. A work of art composed of materials or techniques taken from other sources. She calls her artwork pastiche, but she's really just making collages out of pictures she took from fashion magazines. Magnanimity. Generosity or ability to forgive. The man's magnanimity could be seen in his decision to pay for his neighbor's college tuition. Tractability. Easy to manage, docile. The tractability of the horse made it an ideal one for kids to ride. Inchoate. Not yet formed or in existence. Potential. Most five-year-olds have only an inchoate understanding of the world. By the time they are ten, they comprehend things much better. Consecrate. To declare holy. The priest consecrated the altar of the new church. 
Trite. Commonplace. Cliché. The movie's plot was trite, a shameless copy of several better movies. Forestall. To prevent beforehand, to anticipate. She released her data in order to forestall any objections to her experiment's methods. Decorum. Proper manners. You must adhere to the library's decorum by not talking. Dictum. 1. A common statement. A maxim. 2. A formal declaration. The dictum of don't ask, don't tell is the military's new policy towards homosexuality. Errant. In error. Deviating from the proper course. He was struck in the head by an errant baseball hit by one of the neighborhood kids. Trappings. The outward signs of a state or situation. The hotel room has the trappings of luxury, a jacuzzi, fine silk sheets, and a minibar. Pejorative. Disparaging. Negative. The pejorative article provoked a furious response from the candidate. Gadfly. A persistent critic. Ralph Nader is a gadfly in American politics, committed to poking holes in the claims offered by the major parties. Indecorous. Poorly mannered, unbecoming. His drunken, indecorous behavior got him banned from the country club. Egregious. Obviously bad or wrong. Glaring. The most egregious of the mechanic's errors was leaving his wrench in the engine. Provident. Well-reasoned, displaying good judgment and foresight. It is provident to sell stocks before their prices fall. Inter. To bury. The coffin was interred in the earth, and the mourners covered it in dirt. Putrefaction. State of rot. The food that had sat for weeks in the broken refrigerator was in an awful state of putrefaction. Aseptic. Preventing infection. The doctors put an aseptic bandage on the wound to prevent infection. Cornucopia. An abundant amount. There's always a cornucopia of food at my grandma's Thanksgiving dinners, so you'll be full by the time you finish. Wet. To sharpen. He wet the knife against the sharpening block. Impervious. Immune to. Since she won the Pulitzer, she has felt impervious to any of her critics' claims about her work. Abject. Wretched, despicable, vile. The negotiations were an abject failure, accomplishing nothing. Conciliate. To reconcile. To overcome distrust, anger, etc. Our previously unfriendly relationship with the neighbors has been conciliated by their recent kindness. Contiguous. Bordering, adjoining, touching. The properties were contiguous and shared a fence. Dilettante. An amateur, a dabbler. He is only a dilettante, not a serious painter. Vacuous. Empty, meaningless. His vacuous comments made it clear that not only did he not know anything about the subject, he was also hopelessly stupid. Sage. Wise. Heeding her mother's sage financial advice saved her a lot of money. Inure. To make accustomed to something unpleasant through practice or experience. Since he became a doctor, he has been inured to the sight of blood. Unmitigated. Total or absolute, not weakened or moderated. The battle plan was an unmitigated failure. All of the troops died. Allergen. Something which causes an allergic reaction. Airborne allergens are common in springtime, so you might want to take some allergy medicine. Glut. An abundance, an excessive amount. There is a glut of people with MBAs, so if you want to stand out, you need another advanced degree. Palatable. Acceptable or pleasing to taste. The food was palatable, but not good. Prodigious. 1. Extremely large or abundant. 2. Extraordinary or amazing. 
Michael Jordan had a prodigious competitive appetite. Manacle. A restraint. The manacles on the prisoner's arms kept him from escaping. Abdicate. To give up a responsibility or position. To renounce. Because of a conflict of interest, she abdicated her control over the committee. Largesse. Generosity. The team was able to travel to the championship game because of the largesse of a donor who paid for the plane tickets. Destitute. 1. Extremely poor. 2. Lacking some quality or characteristic. The men and women living on Skid Row are totally destitute. Faction. An antagonistic group that is part of a larger group. Fighting broke out between different factions in the Republican Party. Temperate. 1. Characterized by moderation or self-control. 2. Not excessive. I offered the students temperate praise for their work because I didn't want them to get too confident. Erudite. Well-read, scholarly, learned. The erudite man did well on Jeopardy. Nexus. A central point. The company's computer server is the nexus for all of its electronic communications. Detractor. Someone who opposes or criticizes something. The program's detractors claim that it is too expensive and inefficient. Amity. Friendliness, good relations. The old friends regarded each other with amity. Vim. Energy, vitality. The cheerful man started his day with characteristic vim, humming a song and smiling at everyone he passed. Lark. A playful excursion. We took off to Las Vegas on a lark. Menial. Related to or suitable for a servant. Low, degrading. People convicted of misdemeanors are often forced to do menial labor, such as picking up trash. Lionize. To praise or make famous. The researcher was lionized in the press because people thought that he had discovered a cure for cancer. Rancor. Ill will. Meanness. At the divorce proceedings, the man and woman spoke to each other with rancor. Fallow. Inactive. Unused. The land sat fallow since no one had bothered to plant any crops. Hermetic. Isolated and protected from outside influence. The moon rock was sealed in a hermetic container since exposure to air would cause it to disintegrate. Banal. Trite, commonplace, boring. Hoping not to offend anyone, the policeman filled his speech with banal compliments for everyone. Sorted. Dirty, low, disreputable. The senator was accused of having a sordid affair with a stripper. Peevish. Irritable, cranky. The man was peevish because the telemarketer woke him up at 6.30 in the morning. Pallid. Pale. After weeks spent sick in bed, the boy looked pallid and weak. Paramount. Most important or obvious. There are many problems with the plan. Paramount among them is the lack of funding. Arcane. Mysterious, secret, understood by a small number of people. Sword making is an arcane craft, not practiced by very many people nowadays. Vociferate. To cry out loudly, to shout. The microphone was broken, so the speaker had to vociferate so that the people in back could hear him. Impertinent. Rude, not showing proper respect. Her impertinent answers to the teacher's questions got her suspended. Sucker. Aid or help. The injured soldier cried out for sucker, and the medic hurried over with morphine and bandages. Lout. A rude, stupid person. The drunken lout tried to kiss the woman. Imbibe. To drink. In celebration of her 21st birthday, she and her friends imbibed an enormous amount of alcohol. Jeer. To mock. The crowd jeered the losing fighter, shouting insults and taunts. 
Solvency. Able to pay bills. After years of unpaid bills and collections letters, the artist was finally successful enough to achieve solvency. Dualism. A system that is divided into two parts. Many religions believe in a strict dualism of body and soul. Hallowed. Sacred. Holy. Indian burial grounds are considered hallowed places, deserving of respect and care. Precipitate. To cause to happen early. To hasten. The surprise attack precipitated the country's entrance into the war. Cajole. To persuade through flattery or promises. We tried to cajole the dog out from under the porch, but he refused to budge. Lascivious. Related to lust or sex. The dirty old man took a lascivious interest in the cheerleaders. Effrontery. Insolence or rudeness. The effrontery of being insulted in front of his wife was what made the man really angry. Labyrinthine. Resembling or pertaining to a labyrinth. Maze-like. It's easy to get lost in a labyrinthine building. Conciliatory. Pertaining to or characterized by reconciliation or appeasement. Knowing that he needed his opponent's help, the candidate struck a conciliatory tone offering a compromise between the two parties. Evanescent. Fleeting. Vanishing. The steam rising above my coffee is evanescent. Sunder. To break apart. The rocks by the shore sundered the tiny boat into little pieces. Loathe. Hatred or intense dislike. I loathe people who work for collections agencies. Nascent. Developing, not yet existent. The girl's nascent interest in science was encouraged by her parents, who bought her a chemistry set. Berate. To put down, criticize sharply. His boss berated him for losing the file. Tenable. Capable of being upheld or defended. Asking Israel and Palestine to just get along is not a tenable solution to the problem. Wanton. 1. Disregarding conventions or rules. 2. Malicious, cruel. 3. Lacking restraint, indulgent. It would be a wanton disregard for the rules of the road to start driving through red lights whenever you felt like it. Ethos. The attitude or beliefs of a group culture, etc. The company's progressive ethos influenced its decision to develop environmentally friendly methods for manufacturing. Dint. Force or effort. By dint of her previous championships, the skier was considered the favorite going into the race. Rancorous. Characterized by or prone to fighting or hatred. The rancorous drunk got his own cell, separating him from the peaceful prisoners. Impudent. Bold, rude, insolent. The boy's impudent decision to join the merchant marines instead of going to college caused his father to disown him. Plentitude. Abundance or fullness. The plentitude of America's economy is the envy of many countries in the world. Cardinal. First and most important. The cardinal rule of fishing is never forget to bring enough beer. Jilt. To reject or spurn. The jilted boy sat on the riverbank, crying over his lost love. Divestiture. The state of having property taken or given away. The divestiture of the deceased woman's property took place according to the wishes she expressed in her will. Doleful. Pitiful, sad, pathetic. The dog gave me a doleful look until I gave it some of my food. Convoke. To call a meeting to order. The chairwoman banged the gavel down on the podium, officially convoking the meeting. Enmity. Hatred, dislike. The enmity between the two competitors can be seen in the hateful way they glare at each other. Ken. Understanding, perception. 
The private lives of his soldiers is not within the ken of the commanding general. Enumerate. To list or explain at length. The principal enumerated the student's many failings. Zenith. The highest point. The deal he negotiated turned out to be the zenith of his career. He never surpassed it. Entrenched. Firm, unmoving, stubborn. My mother's opinion of Jay Leno is so entrenched, there's no way to convince her that he's not an idiot. Cognizant. Aware. Though still technically in a coma, the man is cognizant of when people are in the room with him. Catalyze. To change or cause a change. The disagreement catalyzed into a full-blown argument. Nader. The lowest point. Just when it seems things are at their absolute nadir and can't get any worse, another bad thing happens. Tacit. Voiceless, silent. The boss gave tacit approval to the fraud by not mentioning the irregularities in the accounts. Impinge. 1. To encroach upon. 2. To strike or collide. 3. To have an impact or effect on. I didn't want to impinge upon the newlyweds, so I sat at another table. Luxuriate. 1. To indulge or enjoy. 2. To thrive or flourish. We luxuriated in the penthouse suite, enjoying the hot tub and the free drinks. Ingenue. An innocent, naive girl, or such a part in a dramatic work. The movie exposes the evils of society through the viewpoint of the pretty ingenue who is steadily corrupted by the city's ills. Paragon A perfect representation or example of something. The monk is a paragon of selflessness, frequently going hungry so that others may eat. Vi To compete. The kids vied for the player's attention by waving signs. Surreptitious Stealthily, in secret. He surreptitiously slid the other man's wallet into his own pocket. Seemly. Proper, fitting, decorous. It is not seemly for a politician to be seen in the company of a prostitute. Mnemonic. Of or related to memory. Foil is a mnemonic device for remembering the order of operations for quadratic equations. Indefatigable. Not able to be exhausted or worn out. The marathon runner's indefatigability will keep her going long after her body has given up. Rescind. To take back or cancel. Once the girl's cheating was exposed, the school rescinded its scholarship offer. Exalted. Revered, highly respected, glorified. Tiger Woods has an exalted status among professional golfers. Imbue. 1. To infuse or permeate. 2. To influence. The movie is imbued with a strong social conscience. Motley. Composed of varied, ill-matching materials. The car he built was a motley mix of mismatched parts, but it ran. Missive. A letter or message. The president sent an urgent missive to the ambassador requesting a meeting. Polish. 1. The act of shining something. 2. A shining surface. 3. Refinement, sophistication. The skater's raw talent is marvelous, but she lacks the polish of her better trained opponents. Causal. Related to or characterized by cause and effect. It is hard to create a solid causal argument that humans are responsible for global warming. Pontificate. To think deeply. The philosopher sat on the rock pontificating. Imperious. 1. Domineering, demanding. 2. Imperative, urgent. The movie star's imperious attitude is what makes people dislike him. Chaff. 1. Useless material. 2. The husk surrounding a grain. The job of a newspaper reporter is to report the most important parts of the story, eliminating the chaff. 
Abominate. To loathe, dislike strongly, detest. The oil company was abominated by environmentalists. Bequest. Property handed out by a will. The house was given to me as a bequest from my deceased great aunt. Parity. Equality. In the interests of parity, all the teams will begin with the same amount of money. Burgeon. 1. To begin to grow or increase. 2. To develop quickly. There is a burgeoning interest in hybrid cars, even among Republicans in the Midwest. Meyer. To be stuck in an unpleasant or difficult situation. The team was mired in a 10-game losing streak. Droll. Amusing or funny, especially in a dry or wry way. The British version of The Office is a perfect example of droll British humor. Muse. To think over, ponder. He mused over the problem as he drank his morning coffee. Maudlin. Mournful, often in a sentimental way. The drunk man sang a maudlin tune which depressed everyone in the bar. Deprecate. To put down, disparage. His self-deprecating humor makes him seem less confident than he really is. Wrapped. 1. Completely engrossed. 2. Deeply moved, emotional. The skillful magician held the audience in rapt attention. Matrilineal. Tracing descent through the mother's family. Many societies are matrilineal, so power and property are passed down through the woman in the family. Cathartic. Characterized by a release of feeling, a relief. Telling off my boss was a cathartic experience. Expound. To discuss or explain something. The professor expounded on his thesis for another hour before taking questions. Pernicious. Dangerous, having harmful effect, deadly. The mayor's rival started pernicious rumors designed to damage his reputation. Furor. State of excitement, commotion or controversy, an uproar. There was a furor in the building as the notorious killer was brought in. Hortatory. Arguing for or inciting some action or decision. The coach gave an hortatory speech to her team at halftime. Caprice. A sudden impulse or notion, a whim. The director's decision to reshoot the scene was based on only caprice, not on any definite reason. Culpable. Guilty, blameworthy. Everyone is culpable for their own actions. Cloudburst. A sudden, heavy rainfall. We had to hide under a tree to escape the cloudburst. Incredulous. Disbelieving, skeptical, surprised. The man was incredulous when the police came to arrest him, as he had never committed a crime in his life. Poignant. Very touching or emotional. At halftime, there was a poignant video tribute to the recently deceased cheerleader. Tractable. Able to be managed or persuaded. The horse is tractable and well-trained, so he should be easy to ride. Proclivity. A habit or tendency, an inclination. The lawyer has a proclivity to rush through his opening statement. Discreet. Separate, individual, distinct. We divided the donut into eight discreet pieces so that everyone would have some. Penultimate. Second to last. The president is riding in the penultimate car in the caravan. Omnifarious. Of all types or forms. The show brought in an omnifarious crowd, a mix of rich suburbanites, down-and-out street folk, and trendy college kids. Rift. 1. A crack or split formed by a breaking or splitting. 2. A division or separation of opinions, beliefs, etc. There is a rift in the committee between those who want to vote for Clinton and those who want to vote for McCain. Quarrel. To argue or fight. 
My roommates often quarrel over who is responsible for the mess in the kitchen. Inexorable. Unavoidable. Inevitable. The movie reached its inexorable conclusion as the lovable hero escaped the sinking boat and saved the helpless girl. Remonstrate. To protest or object to. The women remonstrated with the boss about the lack of women's restrooms. Parochial. 1. Narrow or limited in scope, provincial. 2. Of or related to a church parish. My dad has a parochial view on modern art. He thinks that any monkey can be trained to throw paint at a canvas. Bellicose. Warlike, inclined to fight. The governor was notoriously bellicose, so his workers were hesitant to disagree with him. Perpetual. Continual, without stopping. It is a perpetual struggle for adults to understand teenagers. Vicarious. Experience through another person. The man took a vicarious joy in his son's athletic ability, since his own had long since expired. Treatise. A long work which explores or details one subject. The philosopher wrote a treatise on why people vote against their own self-interest. Magnanimous. Generous. In a magnanimous gesture, the local bank donated money to replace the library's damaged books. Proletariat. The working class. Labor unions are designed to protect the rights of the proletariat. Malefactor. A criminal or wrongdoer. The police instigated a manhunt to search for the malefactor. Insolvency. Being unable to pay debts. The company's drastic financial mismanagement resulted in its insolvency. Complacent. Eager to please. Obliging. The man's complacent attitude made him an excellent personal assistant. Malaise. Feeling of mental or physical sickness or unease. After his wife left him, the man spent a few months in a state of general malaise. Predilection. A preference, inclination, or tendency. My dog has a predilection for chewing up my shoes. Inauspicious. Unfavorable, not showing any promise or potential. Getting two D's in my first semester was an inauspicious way to begin my college career. Assail. To assault or attack. The TV station was assailed with complaints after the controversial show. Verve. Energy. Liveliness. She only had one line in the play, but she said it with such verve that the audience remembered her. Untenable. Unable to be supported or held, as of an argument or position. It is untenable at this point to argue that she is innocent since she confessed to the crime. Intransigent. Stubborn, uncompromising. The intransigent dog refused to go in his cage no matter what treats we offered him. Ascetic. Bear, without luxury or indulgence. Spartan. The apartment's ascetic furnishings consisted of a chair and a pillow, nothing more. Magnate. A very powerful and rich business person. When the magnate decided to close his company's factories, 10,000 people lost their jobs. Salutary. 1. Helpful, beneficial. 2. Healthy. Exercise has a salutary effect on your overall well-being. Lambast. To scold or criticize harshly. After their house was burglarized, the man's wife lambasted him for forgetting to lock the back door. Equine. Of, related to, or resembling a horse. The horse trainer has a wealth of equine knowledge. Juan. One. Pale, sickly looking. Two. Weak or feeble. After three months in bed with the flu, she looked wan and thin. Environs. Surrounding environment. In sports, home teams always have an advantage because they get to play in the comfort of their own environs.
Dearth. A lack or shortage. There has been a dearth of intelligent, high-quality movies at the box office lately. I can't remember the last time that one came out. Antithetical. Totally opposed or contrary. The two companies are direct competitors, so their interests are antithetical to one another. Mollification. A state of appeasement or pacification. The customer service department tries to provide a sense of mollification to unhappy customers. Procure. To obtain. The weary settlers were unable to procure supplies from a friendly trader. Amortize. To pay off debt. With the money from my summer job, I was able to amortize my credit card bill. Affectation. A trait or behavior that is faked or acted. His limp is just affectation. There's nothing wrong with his leg. Filch. To steal secretly, especially a small amount. The unpaid worker took to filching money out of the register to supplement his paycheck. Sensate. 1. Perceived by the senses. 2. Capable of sensation. After being in the isolation tank for so long, being out in the street was a painfully sensate experience. Affable. Easy to get along with. Friendly. His affable demeanor made him an excellent boss to work for. Grandiloquent. Pompous or pretentious, especially in speech. The professor's grandiloquent lectures clearly displayed how egotistical he was. Adulterate. To make impure or less valuable. The soil is adulterated with clay and sand, so it's impossible to farm here. Wither. To become wrinkled or shriveled. Left out in the desert sun, the orange withered and crumbled into dust. Picaresque. A story with a likable rogue or miscreant as its main character. Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer is one famous picaresque novel. Sectarian. Of or related to sects or tribes. When people don't share a national identity, sectarian interests and prejudices often influence their interactions. Usurp. To seize power or position unjustly. The greedy prince tried to usurp his father's power. Sardonic. Mocking, sarcastic, bitter. After the boy got dumped, he spoke in a sardonic tone about how great relationships were. Discord. A state of disagreement or unhappiness. After the riots, there was a lot of discord and unrest in the community. Din. A prolonged, unpleasant sound. It was hard to hear the captain over the din of the helicopter's engine. Flippant. Disrespectful. Because of her flippant attitude, the girl was often given detentions by her teachers. Replete. Full. The new Tom Cruise movie is replete with fight sequences and special effects. Skulk. To move or act in a sneaky, untrustworthy manner. The police stopped to question a man they found skulking around the jewelry store in the middle of the night. Multifarious. Varied or diverse. The girl's multifarious excuses for why she didn't have her homework showed off both her creativity and her irresponsibility. Affected. Faked. Not genuine. He came back from his semester abroad with an affected English accent. Stringent. Strict or restrictive. The school's stringent dress code didn't allow shorts or t-shirts. Nihilistic. Of or related to the belief that life is devoid of meaning or value. The young man's nihilistic statements trouble the churchgoers, who were firm in their understanding of life's purpose. Atrophy. To waste away. His muscles had atrophied while his arm was in the cast. Auspicious. Favorable, promising good fortune. Finding $100 in the street was an auspicious way to start my trip to Vegas. Bourgeois. Of or related to wealthy property owners. 
His interests are so bourgeois. All he wants to do is talk about stocks and mortgage rates. Exalt. To celebrate, to feel elation. The track star exulted in having beaten his rival and set a world record. Penitent. Remorseful for wrongdoing. The girl felt penitent for having flushed her brother's goldfish down the toilet. Misanthrope. Someone who hates mankind. Only a misanthrope would wish for nuclear war. Saline. Of or related to salt. The saline content of the water is remarkably high, even for the sea. Malign. To speak ill of, to defame. Oil companies have been much maligned in the press recently as gas prices continue to rise. Panache. Flashy confidence, showy style. Not only did he land the jump, he did so with panache, with a little dance step at the end. Ignoble. Not noble, shabby, contemptible. Many people consider being a garbage man an ignoble profession, but it pays the bills. Craven. Cowardly. Before he went to boot camp, Billy was a craven bedwetter. Now he's a fearless warrior. Upbraid. To scold or criticize. The reporter was upbraided by his angry editor for getting the facts wrong in the story. Extol. To praise enthusiastically. The salesman extolled the virtues of his product. Germain. Relevant. The judge demanded to know whether the new evidence was germane to the case. Scads. A large quantity. The tabloids contain scads of information about Britney Spears' mothering skills. Venial. A minor, trivial, or insignificant offense. Forgetting to staple your forms together is a venial offense. The office will still accept them. Altruistic. Unselfish, charitable, done for the benefit of others. The businesswoman who donated a million dollars to the library was thanked for her altruistic action. Effusive. Very emotional or expressive. The woman gave the fireman who rescued her cat effusive thanks, even offering to cook him dinner. Flay. 1. To whip or beat. 2. To strip off the skin of. Medieval torturers use barbed whips to flay their victims. Diatribe, a harsh or bitter speech. The passenger delivered a diatribe about his lost luggage to the unlucky airline clerk. Doff, to take off, especially a hat or clothing. The man knew it was polite for him to doff his hat before he sat down for dinner. Broach, to bring up in conversation. Many parents are hesitant to broach the topic of sex with their children. Anachronism. Something that belongs to a different time period, something outdated. Telegrams are an anachronism in a time period where email is readily available. Prostrate. 1. Lying flat on the ground. 2. Submissive. 3. Exhausted. He was dead drunk, lying prostrate on the floor with his face in the dog's food bowl. Inimitable. Impossible to copy or imitate. Nobody can play drums like Stuart Copeland. His style is inimitable. Opine. To offer an opinion. Editorial columnists are paid to opine on controversial subjects. Stolid. Unemotional, unresponsive. The man's stolid demeanor made him an excellent poker player and a bad father. Reparation. Payment or compensation for wrongdoing. The homeowner demanded reparations for the damage caused by the fire truck that crashed into his living room. Grievous. 1. Painful. 2. Serious. Grave. The jury awarded the man $20 million for the grievous injury he received from the faulty pogo stick. Raise. To destroy completely. The city was razed to the ground by the bombing campaign. Augury. An omen pertaining to the future. 
The dead roach in my birthday cake was a dispiriting augury for the next year of my life. Squalid. Filthy. After a few weeks without running water, the refugee camp was a squalid scene, with trash and raw sewage everywhere. Semantic. Related to words or meaning. There is an important semantic difference between effect and effect. Renege. To contradict or oppose an earlier agreement. In business, as in relationships, it is bad to renege on your promises. Nepotism. Awarding positions or favors based on kinship or friendship rather than merit. That the mayor hired her brother as a high-paid consultant is a clear case of nepotism. Scurvy. A sickness caused by a lack of vitamin C. Sailors in the past had to take pains to guard against scurvy. Tycoon. A powerful business person. The oil tycoon financed his friend's Senate campaign so that he would have an ally in Congress. Extemporize. To speak without planning or preparation. To improvise. Since she had lost the notes for her speech, she was forced to extemporize. Celestial. Of, related to, or resembling the stars. A meteor shower is a celestial event that everyone should see. Etymology. 1. The roots of a word. 2. The study of words' roots. The etymology of the word morgue traces back to the Latin word for death. Auspice. 1. Sponsorship or protection. 2. An omen. We were able to travel through the war zone under the auspices of the army, which had provided us with an armed escort. Dispiriting. Depressing or discouraging. It was dispiriting to learn that all my studying got me a C- minus on the test. Agog. Eager or excited for something to happen. The fans were agog over the arrival of the team plane. Progeny. 1. Descendants or offspring. 2. Product or result. In mythology, the progeny of the gods were typically endowed with supernatural powers. Moniker. A name. She might be hard to find in the phone book because she goes by a different moniker at work. Dishearten. To discourage or depress. We were disheartened by the news that our rescuers had to turn back because of the storm. Neophyte. Someone inexperienced at something. She's a neophyte in this profession, so she's going to need a lot of training. Variegated. Varied or diverse, especially in color or appearance. The dog's variegated fur made it obvious that it was a mutt. Inscrutable. Not able to be understood or interpreted. It is valuable to have an inscrutable expression on your face when you are playing poker. Equanimity. Calm especially in upsetting circumstances. He responded to the news that his car had been stolen with remarkable equanimity. He just shrugged his shoulders and went on with his day. Sojourn. A brief trip or stay. We sojourned to Mexico in the week I had before my new job started. Coddle. To excessively pamper or indulge. He was coddled as a young boy, so now he's hopelessly spoiled. Systemic. Related to the whole system or organism. Corruption is so widespread in the department that only a systemic approach could fix it. Torpor. A listless or apathetic state. After spending all day on the couch watching TV, she had a hard time shaking off the torpor. Denigrate. To insult or belittle. Many people feel that the way women are portrayed on television is denigrating. Repost. A quick retort or counterattack. The debater always had a clever repost to his opponent's claims. Effect. 1. To have an influence or effect on. 2. To fake or pretend, especially to impress. He affected a sophisticated demeanor when she was around, hoping to impress her. Dell. A wooded, secluded valley. 
Between those hills, there is a beautiful dell where you will likely see some deer. Chortle. To laugh. When the girl fell out of her chair in class, the other kids chortled in delight. Hapless. Unlucky. The hapless athlete suffered several freak injuries. Prattle. To talk ceaselessly about trivial things. To chatter. The students prattled on until the teacher finally yelled at them to be quiet. Morass. One, a swamp. Two, a difficult or tricky situation. Her lies about the car accident turned the whole situation into a morass. Amicable. Friendly. Their divorce was amicable, so they still talk and occasionally even have dinner. Spate. One, a sudden outpouring. Two, a large amount or number. The police are perplexed by the recent spate of lawn ornament robberies. Clarion. Loud, strident. The soldiers were awakened by the clarion call of the trumpet. Belie. To prove false or contradict. The industry spokesperson's cheery claims are belied by the grim facts about cigarettes. Expurgate. To remove something offensive or incorrect. The lawyer asked that the false confession be expurgated from the record. Corpulent. Fat. The corpulent woman was unable to squeeze through the narrow doorway. Piddling. Trivial or insignificant. The loss of a shoe is a piddling unhappiness when compared to the loss of a house. Ignominious. Humiliating, disgraceful, or shameful. The team suffered such an ignominious defeat that the players were booed off the court. Malediction. 1. A curse. 2. Slander. The maledictions his opponents yelled at him did not deter him. Palsy. Involuntary twitching or shaking. People with Parkinson's disease often develop palsies that make it difficult for them to do things with their hands. Quietude. Peace. Calm. Meditation helps me reach a state of quietude. Immutable. Unchanging or unchangeable. The Supreme Court's interpretation of the Constitution is not immutable. It often adapts to new political circumstances. Veneration. Respect or reverence. The kids approach their hero with quiet veneration. Argo. Jargon. Vocabulary specific to a profession. Starboard is nautical argo for the right side of the ship. Forswear. To renounce or give up. Hoping to turn his life around, the alcoholic forswore drinking. Renumeration. Payment or recompense. The workers demanded fair remuneration for their labor. Bereft. 1. Deprived of. 2. Lonely. The collapse of the levees left the town bereft of defenses from the flood. Philander. To commit adultery or have casual sexual relationships. One of the central tenets of marriage is that neither the husband nor the wife philander. Diffuse. 1. Spread out, not concentrated. 2. Unfocused, not concise. The paper was hastily thrown together from many sources, so it comes across as diffuse and unstructured. Rarified. 1. Refined or exalted. 2. Exclusive. She's a billionaire now, so she only talks to a rarefied crowd of other billionaires. Pellucid. Clear. The water around the island is so pellucid you can see the ocean floor. Ennui. Dissatisfaction or boredom with life. Early punk rock expressed the ennui that British teenagers felt. Wayne. To gradually decrease. 
Her interest in skydiving waned until she couldn't remember why she wanted to do it in the first place. Voracious. Having a ravenous desire or appetite for something. He's a voracious reader, so there's almost always a book in his hand. Superfluous. Unnecessary. We dumped out the superfluous packages to make room for the essentials. Nullify. To make null, ineffectual, or inconsequential. Signing the new contract will automatically nullify the old one. Curry. 1. To groom a horse using a brush. 2. To attempt to gain favor or privilege. He curried favor with his boss by offering to do things that no one else wanted to do. Proscribe. 1. To make illegal. 2. To condemn or denounce. Ice skating on the frozen pond was proscribed after several people were injured. Credulous. Gullible. Many con artists find senior citizens to be overly credulous and therefore easy to rip off. Extricate. To free from a difficult situation. The rescuers worked to extricate the boy trapped in the well. Stayed. Reserved, formal, unemotional. Her staid personality made her an excellent mortician. Exhaustive. Complete or thorough. Good journalists do exhaustive research to confirm every fact with several sources. Doggerel. Crude or inferior literature. That play is pure doggerel. The plot is convoluted and the characters lifeless. Middling. Mediocre, unremarkable. The movie was of middling quality. Not bad enough to walk out on, but not good enough to recommend. Rue. To regret or feel sorry about. The woman rude becoming a teacher when she saw the stack of papers she had to grade. Preclude. To prevent something from happening. His bad eyesight precludes any possibility that he could be a pilot. PQ. 1. To arouse anger or resentment. 2. To cause or provoke. The cop's attention was pecued by the man's suspicious demeanor. Goad. To cause something to happen. To provoke. The other kids tried to goad the boy into jumping off the high dive. Titillate. To pleasantly excite or stimulate. The eager crowd was titillated by the news that Madonna would be on stage soon. Maritime. Of or related to the sea or boats. The Maritime Museum in San Diego features many famous ships and sailboats. Plum. 1. To investigate in depth. 2. To check the depth of water. I plumbed through back issues of the magazine, searching for the article. Antecedent. 1. An ancestor. 2. Something which comes before. A precedent. Early calculators are the antecedents of modern computers. Taciturn. Quiet or reserved. Not communicative. The woman is so taciturn that some people believe that she can't speak at all. Sedition. Treason. Something which undermines or attacks a government. In some monarchies, speaking ill of the king was considered sedition, a crime punishable by execution. Sodden. Soaked. Drenched. After the monsoon, the field was sodden and muddy. Inane. Lacking meaning or substance. Her inane comments angered the activists, who wanted real answers to their questions. Vacuity. 1. Emptiness. 2. Something devoid of thought or intelligence. The vacuity of political speech is due to the fact that politicians are afraid of offending any potential voters. Digressive. Straying off the main point or topic. The professor gives digressive lectures which frequently wander into unrelated topics. Duplicitous. 
Deceitful. You can't trust anything he says because he's known for being duplicitous. Fleeting. Short-lasting. Temporary. She took a fleeting interest in horses, but after a week of riding lessons, she was begging her parents for a drum set. Innocuous. 1. Harmless. 2. Without value or merit. Her comments sounded innocuous, but they were actually very threatening. Acrimonious. Characterized by animosity or dislike. The trial made headlines because it was so acrimonious. The lawyers even got into fistfights. Done. To repeatedly demand payment of a debt. After her identity was stolen, she found herself being done by unfamiliar credit agencies. Predispose. 1. To make inclined towards something. 2. To make susceptible. His weak immune system made him predisposed to sickness. Estimable. Respectable or admirable. He is an estimable actor, yet he's never won an Oscar. Contravene. To oppose or contradict. The general contravened his earlier order, which confused the troops. Abraid. To wear away by friction or erosion. The decorative pattern on the floor tiles has been abraded by decades of footsteps. Strident. 1. Loud or harsh. 2. Aggressive or overly forceful. The priest is a strident opponent of sex education. He often delivers angry sermons denouncing it. Peruse. To read thoroughly. You should peruse the instructions so that you understand them completely. Luster. Shine. I polished the car until it had a blinding luster. Machiavellian. Immorally scheming for political power. At my office, there is a lot of Machiavellian backstabbing as everyone tries to claw their way to the top. Efficacy. Effectiveness. The lab is testing the efficacy of the new drug so that doctors will know how much to prescribe. Disencumber. To relieve of burdens. I had to disencumber myself of my heavy backpack before I could walk any farther. Untoward. 1. Socially inappropriate or awkward. 2. Unlucky or unfortunate. His untoward comments about how hot his boss was got him fired. Salient. Very obvious or important. It was easy to tell that she is a bad reader because she missed even the most salient points in the article. Parsimonious. Stingy. The rich man's greedy children feel that he was too parsimonious in his will. Dissolute. Immoral. Her dissolute behavior made her the subject of gossip and rude stares in church. Polemic. An opinionated or controversial speech or statement. Ann Coulter's polemics infuriate a lot of people, but they have made her a lot of money. Uncouth. Unsophisticated or rude. It is uncouth to put your elbows on the table during a formal dinner. Insular. Isolated from external influence, narrow-minded. It took weeks for the news to reach the insular village that the war had ended. Aficionado. An enthusiastic and knowledgeable supporter or fan. She is a Mercedes aficionado, which is why she's always got a new one in her driveway. Countervalen. Acting in opposition with equal strength. Offsetting. I thought we should turn left, but my wife offered the countervailing opinion that we should go to the right. Deplore. To strongly disapprove. I deplore people who chew with their mouth open. It's my biggest pet peeve. Usury. Excessive financial interest rate. Charging 40% interest on a loan is considered usury. Manifold. Various or many. The book goes through dozens of the manifold ways to cook an egg. Postulate. 
to assert or assume as true. The final votes haven't been counted, but the newscasters are postulating that Kerry won. Frenetic. Frantic, wildly energetic. The game's frenetic pace makes it impossible for people who aren't in great shape to compete. Touchstone. Something against which other things are judged. The Godfather was such a successful film that it has become a touchstone for all subsequent mob movies. Scrupulous. 1. Carefully moral. 2. Attentive to rules or details. I am scrupulous about my money, so I was surprised to find that my account was overdrawn. Rakish. 1. Immoral or disreputable. 2. Smart or dashing in appearance. He is a rakish young man, so the girls should be careful of their reputations around him. Tantamount. Equal. Failing to tell the whole truth is tantamount to lying. Neologism. A newly created word. Xerox was once a neologism after the product it refers to became widely popular. Provincial. 1. Narrow-minded. 2. Unsophisticated or uncultured. Many critics dismiss works by small-town artists as provincial. Often, however, they are quite sophisticated. Duress. Intimidation or threats intended to coerce. He signed the documents under duress, with the two thugs pointing their guns at him. Coalesce. To fuse or unite. The author hoped that the scenes, which were quite different from one another, would coalesce into a meaningful story. Patrician. Of or related to aristocrats or the upper class. Her tastes are remarkably patrician, so she'll probably want lobster and caviar. Equivocate. To intentionally use ambiguous or misleading language. The woman equivocated because she didn't want to tell the detective what really happened. Archaic. Outdated. Old. Using a horse and buggy would be an archaic way to get around. Riotous. 1. Unrestrained, wild, uncontrolled. 2. Of or related to a riot. The woman's riotous laughter often woke her neighbors. Hackneyed. Unoriginal, trite. The action movie's hackneyed plot did nothing to deter its popularity. Myopic. Narrow-minded, lacking foresight or judgment. Your myopic focus on your own feelings makes you oblivious to other people. Approbation. Approval or praise. The woman received a note of approbation from the president for her efforts to care for unwanted orphans. Jaunt. A brief trip. On our day off, we went for a jaunt through the desert. Dither. To hesitate nervously. She dithered in front of the bag of money, trying to decide whether to take it or not. Overweening. 1. Excessively proud or confident. 2. Excessive, immoderate. His overweening enthusiasm for getting naked in the jacuzzi made the girls uncomfortable. Harrowing. Extremely upsetting. Being trapped on the narrow window ledge 50 stories above the street was a harrowing experience. Disinterested. Objective, impartial. Baseball's integrity is dependent on disinterested and fair umpires. Vivacity. Liveliness. The girl's vivacity was astounding, even for a cheerleader. Sepulchre. A religious tomb or vault. The saint's body was placed in a sepulchre in the catacombs beneath the church. Treacherous. Dangerous or perilous. The treacherous path along the cliff has caused many tragic accidents. Uncanny. Supernatural, startling. The man's daughter had such an uncanny resemblance to his dead wife that it gave him the creeps. Squander. To waste. Despite the fact that she needed money for the bus, she squandered her last dollar on a hot dog. Bevy. A large group. 
There was a bevy of beach babes waiting for the handsome surfer to come out of the water. Baroque. Extravagantly decorated, ornate. It takes many days for the artist to carve the Baroque designs. Crucible. An extremely difficult experience or test. My belief in my own strength was forged in the crucible of many marathons. Avuncular. Of or related to an uncle. Friendly. Kind. His avuncular manner makes it easy for everyone to get along with him. Brusque. Abrupt. Rude. The grumpy police chief gave brusque answers to the reporter's questions. Scanty. Meager. Of small quantity. There was scanty food left in the ship's storeroom, so the captain ordered a strict rationing system. Meddlesome. Irritating. Bothersome. The meddlesome dog did not hesitate to jump into the pool and drag the drowning boy out. Sluice. To flow. The heavy rain sluiced through the gutters towards the drains. Crass. Vulgar, unrefined. My mother can't stand Christmas. She thinks it's just an exercise in crass commercialism with no feeling to it. Spurn. To reject or refuse. She spurned all my attempts to get her to go out with me. Terse. Concise, consisting of few words. The coach offered a terse no when asked if he had any comments. Emote. To display emotion. The man was stiff and robotic when he delivered his lines, so his acting coach tried to teach him to emote. Capitulation. To surrender. The man's frequent capitulations to his kids' demands made him feel like a pushover. Patron. A customer. The restaurant was desperate to bring in patrons, so it started offering free drinks. Hallmark. A sign of something, a strong indication. A hallmark of success in the business world is an embossed business card. Insipid. Stupid, meaningless, worthless. That guy is smart, but you wouldn't know it from his insipid comments in class. Exhort. To urge or compel. The man's trainer exhorted him to do five more sit ups. Clinch. One, to grasp. Two, to secure or settle. The boy clinched the quarter tightly in his hand, worried that he'd drop it. Fraught. Troubled? Tense. The journey that many illegal immigrants take into this country is fraught with danger. Welter. A chaotic heap or jumble. His closet was filled with a welter of shoes, clothing, and papers. Ardent. Passionate. Fervent. Romeo and Juliet's ardent love led them to a desperate end. Fastidious. Strict about details, exacting. Brent is so fastidious, he changes his pillowcase every morning in his socks twice during the day. Glib. Smooth and deceitful. The judge was annoyed at the defendant's glib responses. Disingenuous. 1. Dishonest and sly. 2. Not genuine. Con artists tend to be disingenuous. Disparaging. Critical. Deprecatory. I wish you wouldn't make disparaging remarks about my friends. Subjugate. To bring someone under control. The British eventually subjugated the inhabitants of the Indian subcontinent. Fecund. Fertile. One should plant crops in fecund ground. Protracted. Prolonged or drawn out. The students thought that the lecture was needlessly protracted. Satiate. To satisfy. Jane foolishly thought marriage would satiate all her desires in life. Vagabond. Someone who moves place to place without a permanent home.
After losing her house, the woman became a vagabond. Chagrin Embarrassment or humiliation? Much to my chagrin, our team lost by 30 points, despite my victory guarantee. A base. To lower in status. To humiliate. The nobleman took great delight in abasing poor workmen. Tout. To promote. This movie has been touted as the feel-good film of the year. Empirical. Relying on observation or experimentation. Empirical observation will show whether your hypothesis was right. Urchin. 1. A playful or naughty child. 2. A spiny marine creature. The streets were filled with carefree urchins playing stickball. Amalgam. A combination of things. The report contained an amalgam of information drawn from many sources. Spendthrift. Someone who spends money lavishly and foolishly. The spendthrift went broke buying obscure memorabilia off eBay. Curmudgeon. An irritable, bitter, disagreeable person. The curmudgeon who lives in the house in the corner shouts at kids who ride their bikes nearby. Discerning. Having good judgment. The woman's discerning eye made her an excellent art critic. Emollient. Something which softens or smooths the skin. The nurse rubbed the emollient over the man's burnt skin. Fallacious. False, untrue. The advertisement's arguments were obviously fallacious. Gestation. A time period of development. For humans, the gestation period is nine months. Trenchant. 1. Insightful, keen. 2. Forceful. 3. Clear, direct. This author makes many trenchant observations about political life today. Intrepid. Daring, bold. To be a mountain climber, you must be intrepid. Abortive. Unsuccessful. After several abortive attempts to be friendly, the man gave up trying. Admonish. To scold. Small children often cry when an adult admonishes them. Alight. To disembark. To get out of or off a vehicle. When you alight from the plane, please take all your belongings with you. Improvident. Imprudent. Hasty. Please think before you make any improvident decisions. Diffident. Lacking confidence, shy. Some children are so diffident they dread being called on in class. Squelch. To squash or suppress. The dictator rose to power after successfully squelching all opposition. Obtuse. 1. Stupid, insensitive, imperceptive. 2. A geometrical term for an angle greater than 90 degrees. Eduardo was so obtuse he could not see that he had hurt his best friend's feelings. Hegemony. The dominance of one party, nation, or point of view over another. In the golden days of the British Empire, the hegemony of England over the world was indisputable. Sybarite. One who lives only for pleasure, a hedonist. My brother, the Sybarite, lies on the sofa all day eating cheese and chocolate. Cloven. Cleft or split in two. It is against Jewish dietary restrictions to eat animals which do not have cloven hooves. Wrought. Created or constructed. How wonderfully wrought are the trees of God's creation, exclaimed the priest. Preempt. 1. To prevent an event or action from occurring. 2. To claim possession. 3. To take precedence or importance over. Mother tells me that my homework and household responsibilities preempt any social activities I might have planned. Blithe. 1. Free of worries or concerns. 2. Careless. 
How can you be so blithe about your son going to prison? Necromancy. Sorcery or magic, especially involving the dead. Evil wizards often dabble in necromancy, raising armies of zombies to do their bidding. Entreaty. Plea or request. Ignoring his wife's entreaties, the daredevil tried to leap the gorge on his scooter. Irksome. Irritating, bothersome. Even though she had five children of her own, she found the little creatures irksome. Precept. A rule or guideline for action. His father tries his best to follow the precepts of Confucius. Cooperative. Willing to comply or work together with. After several beatings, the little man became very cooperative. Exorbitant. Excessive. How can she charge such exorbitant prices for such low-quality food? Divest. 1. To remove something, such as rights, possessions, duties, from someone. 2. To remove clothes. The butler was grateful when he was divested of his duty to change the baby's diapers. Concordance. 1. Agreement or accord. 2. An index which lists the frequency and occurrence of all words in a given work. The historic concordance between the two nations ended centuries of fighting. Nominal. True in name only. He made a nominal attempt at climbing the rope, clutching at it and groaning before declaring that he couldn't climb it. Indigence. Poverty. Graduate students, who barely make enough to pay rent, often lament their indigence. Mitigate. To offset or make mild. I won't let your disapproval mitigate my enjoyment of the Big Mac. Gibber. To speak unintelligibly and nonsensically. Will you stop gibbering and tell me what is the matter? Scintillate. To sparkle or shine, especially in personality or manner. If you want to win her over, your conversation and manner must scintillate as never before. Axiomatic. Self-evident. It's axiomatic that lying to your friends is wrong. Cloying. Excessively rich or sweet, especially of a smell. She could smell her neighbor's cloying perfume from 100 yards away. Venal, one. Of people, corrupt, able to be bribed. Two. Of objects, able to be bought. The abundance of recent corruption charges prove how venal the local politicians are. Transmute. To transform. Some people are very good at transmuting emotions into words. Unwittingly. Unknowingly, without awareness of. Tagged with a tracking device, the soldier unwittingly led the army to his base camp. Surfeit. Excess. Overabundance. Despite his love of books, Gary suffered from a surfeit of them while working in the library. Peremptory. Authoritative, without possibility of contradiction or debate. Samantha's peremptory remarks put an end to all discussion. Quay. A place where ships are loaded and unloaded. A chapter in James Joyce's Ulysses takes place on a quay in Dublin. Blandishment. Flattery. The wealthy old woman was immune to the blandishments of her greedy relatives. Wraith. A ghost or specter. A wraith hovered outside, tapping with ghostly hands on the glass. Fumigate. To apply smoke, fumes, or perfume to an area, usually to disinfect, purify, or exterminate insects. Can I stay at your house while they are fumigating my apartment? Byzantine. Intricate and complex. The Byzantine design of the lamp with its detailed gold figures and lines made it very expensive. Plucky. Courageous. Bold. 
Children's movies often feature unlikely but extremely plucky heroes. Assignation. 1. The action of assigning something. 2. A secret rendezvous between lovers. Unbeknownst to her best friend, Agatha had scheduled a midnight assignation with George. Solder. To fuse or join together. To fix this leak, we'll have to solder these two pipes together. Fetter. To shackle or restrict. I will not let your whims and fancies fetter me from doing as I please. Cloistered. Isolated, secluded. The honeymooners remained cloistered away together for weeks. Preeminent. Superior, the best. Admirers of the Greeks believe them preeminent among all world civilizations. Beset. To surround and attack or harass. At the picnic, the family was beset by ants and had to flee the scene. Hiatus. A break in continuity. Fred took a hiatus from dating for a while in order to do some soul-searching. Copious. Abundant. She ate carrots in such copious amounts that her brother teased her about her skin turning orange. Urbane. Sophisticated. Cultured. Considering that he's never read a book and that he doesn't have any manners, it's surprising how urbane he seems. Emanate. To shine forth from. Goodness and mercy emanated from her person as light from a lighthouse. Discombobulated. Confused, disoriented. Could you explain that to me again? I feel quite discombobulated at the moment. Inveterate. 1. Long-standing, established. 2. Deep-rooted, as in a habit or addiction. Keep the donuts away from my father. He is an inveterate donut eater. Dapper. Stylish. Pierre is looking very dapper in his new top hat and bow tie. Simeon. Ape-like. I refer to my uncle Fred as my Simeon uncle because of how hairy he is and how long his arms are. More. To anchor something to one location, such as a ship. Moor your boat near the dock, and let's go have a pint of beer. Pedantic. Marked by an excessive desire to show off knowledge. My pedantic sister insists on lecturing us at dinner about the causes of the Second Macedonian-Roman War. Denude. To divest, to strip bare. The hillside, which used to be covered in trees, was denuded by the timber company's clear-cutting. Somnambulist. One who walks in their sleep. Somnambulists often wake up in unfamiliar places unless someone watches them as they sleep. Ruse. A trick or scheme. Employ any ruse necessary. Just keep the police away from the basement. Preponderance. Greater importance, amount, strength, etc. The preponderance of favorable evidence convinced the jury that she was innocent. Waif. A homeless or neglected child. That dirty baggy shirt makes you look like a waif. Nihilism. The belief that life is completely devoid of meaning and that all belief is false. His nihilism gives him an unbearably bleak view of the world. Hubris. Excessive pride. In Greek tragedies, hubris often proves the downfall of the hero. Aver. To claim as true, affirm. Tracy averred that it was indeed she who ate all the ice cream. Pallor. Excessive paleness. The pallor of the patient's face alarmed the nurse, and he ran out immediately to find a doctor. Officious. Excessively or undesirably helpful. The salesman was a little officious in offering to help unbutton my clothes, don't you think? Unflagging. Untiring. Unflagging, the marathon runner crossed the finish line and ran another two miles. Rye. 1. Marked with sardonic or dry humor. 2. 
crooked, twisted, or perverse. His wry remarks about the teacher's hairpiece made everyone laugh. Kismet. Destiny. Josephine and Joe felt it was kismet that their eyes had met across the crowded bus. Facade. 1. The front of a building. 2. The superficial appearance of something. The woman's calm facade distinguished the confused swirl of emotions she felt. Idol. 1. A charming, idyllic scene. 2. A poem describing such a scene. Many poets have written idols about the beauty of rural England. Entomology. The scientific study of insects. The South American rainforest, with its untold number of insect species, is a paradise for those who study entomology. Gustatory. Pertaining to the sense of taste. The chef was fired because he focused on the presentation of his food while neglecting the gustatory aspect. Polyglot. One who is fluent in many languages. Living in a bunch of different countries has made me a polyglot. Episodic. Characterized or comprised of episodes. She was plagued with episodic attacks of pain in her joints. Repertorial. 1. Relating to reports or reporters. 2. In the style of a news report. The publishing firm rejected her novel on the grounds that its style was too repertorial.